Hello babes, welcome back to my channel. I just finished doing my makeup, but stay tuned for the rest of the video. They made my Starbucks drink so good today. And let me know down below if you know what I mean. When your drink is done just the way you like it, it just hits different. So the makeup portion, I pre-filmed because to be honest with you guys, I had a different plan for this video, but that's probably gonna be another story time because I think it's something that's, in, you know, I don't like to get too much into the background of my work because I just feel like it's sometimes unprofessional but then there's certain things i feel like you guys need to understand too and kind of how i conduct my work there was definitely a different plan for this video like i honestly pre-filmed something and was going to i had a partnership for the video and it just did not work out i just chose that i just didn't like how it was going um and it's not something that i it's just not who i am in this business you know so but if you guys are new to my channel welcome make sure you guys subscribe if you would like to give this video a big thumbs up if you're already enjoying it or if you're excited for the rest of the video and also follow me on ig it is at steph g macedo and if you guys don't want to miss any of my new videos make sure you guys click the bell so you guys get notified for all of them I got new pieces from um, H&M and you guys will notice that I don't have my nails in this portion of the video but I have it at the end because I took them off. Um, there's a stage in my PMDD I've mentioned a few times where I just pop all of my nails off. It doesn't matter if I do them or if I have them done by someone else. I just get hit with this anxiety and I guess I either bite my lip, bite my nails or I will bite my nails off. That's just kind of, I don't know, it happens every freaking month. I think I want to do super, super short nails and I think I want to do a little pop of color for the springtime. I had two weeks of gloom, you guys, and finally this week, there's so much sunshine we're going to be getting. Today, I went for a walk at like 9 something in the morning with Nyla. Like, we're already on lockdown, so it's like, I cannot handle gloom and that together. Like, I'm sorry. Like, please just give me something. This is like my fourth, like, H&M order around this springtime, to be honest, because they've been having some cute ass shit. So the first piece that I got, you guys, is this top over here. It is not a crop top. And I love this fabric so much, you guys, because it's the stretchy kind. And I did get this one in a size small, and I also got it in a black. So I got black, and it is white, but it's a cream. It's not, like, blue-white. Um, and they're gonna go so cute you guys with my new coach bag So if I want to do like a dinner look, it's gonna look so freaking cute and everything I show you guys You guys can shop it down below in my description box Other thing I love you guys is that the small like fits me But because there's so much stretch if you want it to be like really fitted you can go down a size in this line is nice and the high The next one I got that is so short you guys I actually saw this twice and I'm like this time I'm gonna grab you is this crop top over here this is like in a knitted fabric again it also has a lot of stretches you guys can see like the other ones I got this one in a small but it has these very square kind of straps and this square kind of neckline a very kind of different from like I don't think I have a top like this to be honest then I got this one in a size small it's your typical cotton feel so but it's not the knitted fabrics I just showed you guys. So it is stretchy. It's just in this very pretty taupe color. It gives you like this racer kind of cut when you have it on. This would look so nice, you guys, with my... My hat's at the front door. I don't want to get my makeup on this hat. I posted a photo in this hat on my IG timeline. So make sure y'all go check it out. So this would look so super cute with this. And you can also do like leggings or joggers or whatever. So, But this is just a really nice um, basic tank top. Last but not least, I got these pants over here. But I'll show you guys a close-up right here of what they kind of look like But I guess I thought that they were gonna come a little bit more casual, but they ended up turning out fine So I don't really care. They also have two little slits on the bottom you guys and these are kind of long on me So I would have to wear them with um, a shoe that has some height because I am only five foot one And I did also get these in a small I love how like I pre-filmed the makeup portion and I'm wearing this sweatshirt And I'm doing this a few days later and I'm wearing this sweatshirt but I love the color of it and I just love the feeling. Oh, it's just such a like a soft brush knit kind of feel. And I love it, you guys, because they fit so freaking perfect. I've been like getting such good luck with H&M um, jeans and pants. I've just been liking the bell bottoms, the wide leg pants. So I definitely would say these are must-haves. People went crazy for these pants because at first I posted it and the link wasn't working. So I had to repost it. And everyone was like, I can't see the link. And I'm like, oh, sorry, I'll repost it. So yeah, I noticed that a lot of people wanted to purchase the pants. I feel like it's because they saw them on me and how it fit on my IG story. And it, it just looks really freaking good, you guys. 
So yeah, I definitely would say I'm happy with every single piece that I got from this order. So I wanted to show you guys that I toned my hair and I used the Redken EQ shades and this is 6GN. Oh my god, you guys, do you see this? Do you see that before and after? But I feel so much better about my hair. Like, this is not exactly what I want, but I just feel overall so much better. And I feel like this is the best solution I can have for right now. But I wanted to show you guys my table. But I went a lot smaller because I don't want to take away, like, play area for her and stuff like that i love the rounded corners you guys like it just adds this little retro touch so i'm really happy with how it turned out can you lay down yes that's a good girl guys i call her a b-i-t-c-h all the time because that's technically what she is so every time i vlog and i have my makeup done i always forget to kind of vlog and do my makeup for you guys my everyday kind of go-to makeup i also have my mirror um i don't use this mirror to do my makeup but if i'm doing it stationary like what i have set up right now then i will have to bring something i'm going to show you guys in front of me what i have but it's really messy to be honest with you guys but this is the case that i have inside of my bathroom underneath my cabinet it's so convenient it's the same case i have for my nail stuff i just think it's really good for people who are in apartments and condos because what's great is that you can have a bunch of these and you can actually have them labeled on the outside so if you have like a linen closet or like a cabinet you can have like makeup case nail case this case skincare case like you can have different stuff and we're just gonna do like a little chit chat kind of get ready with me i went to go get my starbucks but oh my god you guys they made my drink so freaking milky you see how light this is and this drink takes three shots of espresso it literally tastes like sweetened oat milk with like a just like hint hint of coffee done is i put up my hair just so that this is kind of out of the way this is a little bottle of glycerin that's inside of here glycerin you guys can find at a walmart and glycerin i've been using for years if you've been like watching my channel since day one you know i've been talking about glycerin for years okay but man glycerin is so good if you actually it's like basically a vegetable oil from what i um, remember when i looked it up and if you taste it it actually tastes sweet um, kind of leaves your skin with a little bit of attacking leave it Go sleep So yeah, I put a little bit on the palm of my hands and I kind of just do this and I like to just pat it into my face I used to rub it in but there's just no need for that. You can just pat it in It leaves your skin with a little bit of a tackiness like a little bit But I feel like that's also what helps the makeup. I feel like it's a natural kind of primer and I feel it's a natural um, glow before you put on your foundation. You can even mix it. Sometimes, actually, what I do is I'll put the drops on here and then I also put my foundation at the same time and I blend it into the skin. It's honestly like this in a bottle. Um, this is the Tula Do Your Thing, Do, D E W. Um, and it gives you an extra glow too. So today I'm just putting a little extra. Thank you. I'm just putting. <laughs> They gotta smell everything, man. I'm just doing this as a little extra kind of glow. If you wanna do a more affordable and natural kind of primer to give you, thank you. A glow to your skin, then it would be glycerin, but I'm actually doing both because I love this Tula um, little glow before I do my makeup. Oh, so good. And the brush that I use is actually Bare Minerals and it's actually called the Beautiful Finish Brush. It's really amazing. Every time I look up this brush on Sephora's website, it's always says sold out. So I don't know if you go check it right now, if it will be there or not. Plus, guys, I'll be linking everything that I possibly can for you guys down below. This has just been my go-to for years now, you guys. It's so freaking good. And then the one that I use for my face tan, to apply my face tan, is actually the Tarte um, Massive Airbrush one. Good girl, go sleep. Yes, good girl. Oh, thank you, Jesus. I will use this as my main foundation most of the time. It's not foundation, it's a tinted sunscreen, to be honest with you. It has um, 50 SPF in it, and actually one of you guys recommended this to me. Today, I think I'm gonna use this um, instead of using my like more full coverage foundations. I'm not a full coverage foundation girl, but this is what I could, would consider like my everyday light just what I do my makeup with all the time, but then if I want to go a little bit more kind of glam, you would call it, then I would use something a little bit more with more coverage. But this is the CoverGirl Clean Fresh Skin Milk. I love this foundation too. And then this one I also love too, the Burt's Bees Goddess Glows. So this is a really good foundation too if you love that glowy 
look to your skin last but not least i love this foundation again super affordable makeup revolution stick foundation i have like freaking three or four colors in this thing i love love this was my go-to for years and then i tried a few other ones but i only use natural looking foundations if you guys think i'll love another one please let me know down below um and typically i go on the affordable side because like i said i'm not i don't like to spend a lot on makeup this is not that cheap though i'm not gonna lie but because it has good spf in it and i really like this brand la roche posay i feel like it's kind of worth it so i will either hopefully this oh shit let me get my I don't even have my freaking mirror set up. Give me a second. I like to shake this up first. Make sure you do that. And then I'll just kind of squeeze out some. I'm making sure nothing falls. Not that this would even help. Uh, but yeah, I like to squeeze a little bit. Plus, I already have... That's the other good thing is that I already have face tanner on. Um, it doesn't exactly match my body, but it already kind of gives me that color. So I don't have to use like a really... Like, I don't know, I, I also don't have, like, um, bad skin. Like, it's pretty um, clear. So I feel like it allows me to also use very light foundations, too. Again, this is not a foundation. This is, like, a tinted sunscreen, but... They have to create different colors because they only have this color and it's called light and I'm just like, okay. I wonder about everybody else, you know? And I like it to look super natural. I almost like it to look like I didn't take much time to do it, which I don't, to be honest. But just very natural, you know what I mean? I also even hate putting on a concealer. Oh my god, I hate it. I just have this like feeling underneath my eyes. I don't like it. It has like a really healthy glow. I just love the way it looks. To be honest with you guys, if I'm doing my makeup for like super 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 light days and i'm not like filming where i have to have everything on i will put this only and i'll be like yeah that's good like i'm I'm out the door like literally i might put some bronzer and then that's it either the makeup revolution super size um concealer when i do use concealer because i don't really like to um and i will use a little bit of this one the maybelline fit me one in color five because it's hella light but I'll use this one if I have like a little bit of extra dark circles around this area. But I won't like bring it all the way down. I don't like to look like a light bulb. And then again, it just doesn't look natural in my opinion. So I'm going in with both of them. And it's just going to kind of layer on top of each other. And again, just it's just going to be natural, you know. I like to put a little bit over here and a little bit over here. This one's not a lot lighter than me. It's just going to add a little something. I love to use this brush. So something that's not so like has enough dense but it's not too crazy dense and then i'll just kind of press it in but i'm also like playing around recently with my makeup and seeing like is this even the best routine for me is this how i look the best should i you know do it this way should i do it that way i have been liking where the concealer actually goes outwards over here so sometimes i've been doing that but i'm just again doing a very quick look for you guys today as I always get asked like what do you do to your eyebrows how do you get your eyebrows to look like that these are just my eyebrows I honestly just lately have been using this clear great lash thing and literally you guys I don't put anything on here I, my brows have hella thick hair like they're very thick you guys that's why people think I do something to them and I'm like I literally don't and most days I don't even use this like these are just my brows I have very thick hair I don't have the soft wispy like thin hair that most people have been this is basically the coverage that I like to have just very very light guys so uh, the bronzer we're gonna be using today are the ones that I like to use is either this elf one that came with a blush so I have that one I also have the Fenty one, the cream Fenty bronzer, which is so freaking good, you guys. I love it. I also have, if you cleaned up this thing stuff, you would be able to find your bronzers a lot easier because it's dirty. That's why you can't find it. And then I also have this Hourglass one. This color is Luminous Bronze Light. Uh, what is it called? What was it saying? I have such bad short-term memory. Like, what the actual hell? What was I talking about? <sighs> Just look at the footage, Steph, and you can find out. Um, yeah, I don't know when I'm too lazy to look at it. But anyways, I'm going to go in with this bronzer and maybe it'll come back to me. This bronzer gives you a very, very glowy look and it has more of like an orangey tone to it. So sometimes when I'm too, too pale, I like to go really light with it because... 
your face can look like i kind of go a little bit red orange with this bronzer if i'm too light but oh it just gives you this beautiful glow and i'm gonna have to i think pile on some of these products a little bit heavier today because on camera nothing comes across when it comes to makeup so it's kind of annoying and then i do like to bring it over here for my face shape sometimes i bring a little bit here but i like to focus on the ends over here and kind of bronze those areas oh my god what was i saying oh i don't freaking know what the hell i was saying i hate that i hate when i forget what i was just talking about like how is that even possible and then i do like to bring some down over here not quite on top of your face but underneath the suggestion that amy gave to me um because she said it makes you look like j-lo so i was like oh count me in sometimes i will contour with this too you guys like sometimes i use bronzers as contours even with the fenty one today i'm gonna be going in with I've been loving, loving, and living for these guys. The Iconic London uh, Cream Bronzers. I do need a darker one in this because this is a shade where I feel like I can only bronze with. But we're going to try to contour with it today. So I'll use a brush like this. I like the contour to be more targeted and not like all over the place and like massive. So if your product ends up like going a little bit too far, like kind of like this over here. I like to grab my foundation brush. This is usually after. And I like to kind of bring it over here and it kind of just wisps away that extra product And it also just makes everything look really nice and clean. This is more of a bronzing shade because it's not really um, Doing what I want for the contour. Oh my god, you guys this thing blends in so freaking easily like it's so Damn nice. I just love it and it does really well with my skin. I actually have um, dry skin. And a little bit of this Anastasia. I'm going in with the Anastasia. Um, this is the... So I got this one in Fawn. And I also have it in the darker color that it comes in. Mink. So I got both of these. So the mink sometimes I will mix and add a little bit of it. But I have to be careful with how much I add this. But I also use these on my eyes you guys. So that's why I actually bought like four of these i think because they were so freaking nice at this point i like to like grab all these little baby hairs because sometimes they get in my way and i like to just do a little stippling my baby girl do you guys see my baby girl yeah i know i know you have such a hard life your mommy feeds you your mommy buys you everything your mommy takes you out your mommy spoils you girl you even go to a professional place to get bathed i don't i have my freaking shower you're lucky you don't go there She's not listening, her eyes are closed. Okay, all right, watch yourself. I need to be doing this, so I like to bring, I like to apply it just right over there, keeping my lid without nothing, but I'm just gonna softly blend it out. I love using these sticks for that. I do like using powder on my eyes too, but I've just been loving just using cream too sometimes because when you want something really quick and you don't wanna do too much to it, that's what that's perfect for and then i also like to extend it outwards over here it just really helps to open up your eyes but i think i'm gonna add a little bit of mink guys yesterday i started watching these videos and like i don't know i get into this like spiral on youtube where i'm just like where am i it was so freaking good you guys i'm actually currently finishing it up so what it's like to live with Disso sorry i don't have my glass on dissociative identity disorder did so basically this girl has 11 different why am I looking over here? 11 different personalities that come out in her body. And it really helps you to understand how these things form, how they come to be, what these people go through. And it's so freaking interesting, you guys. And the channel is Med Circle. People telling their story about what they go through with these different mental illnesses. Like the last one I watched was about a sociopath. There's a spectrum, you know what I mean? It's not just like, not every sociopath is gonna like do something crazy or like hurt someone or be violent. Like he talks about that. And it just made me realize that a lot of us just judge immediately the person from outwards right when you hear that label I think the average person never thinks about how that person feels about having this it really like I really felt for him like I started to get emotional I was like wow you know like it's it's crazy even though he doesn't really feel much emotion but there is something in him like you can the things that he says and the things that he's learned and therapy he says has been such a good help for him checking out that channel if you guys want to because it's really interesting so what i'm doing is going in with a little like a kind of um a little dense eye brush and i'm dipping it into the mink one 
and I'm adding it to the um, outer corner and I'm also carrying it a little bit above the lid but I'm not going all the way Use this brush and I'm gonna kind of just blend out what I did so that nothing looks harsh I'm just trying to make sure that both of these eyes look even and literally the last thing that I do is I put some mascara on and my favorite mascara is still the telescopic by L'Oreal because it just has this very fine brush Sometimes you guys, when she wakes up, she'll just like look at me and she'll be like, come on, give me attention. And she's just like, and then I'll give her attention and then she's like, yeah, okay, I'm over it. And she literally turns her head and goes away and I'm like, okay. Well, that was very transactional. Like you just wanted some attention, you got it and now you're done with me. Like, cool. I'm just gonna brush these guys a little bit more. But yeah, this is my finished makeup look, you guys. It's really easy, and honestly, I just like very simple, clean makeup. Let me know if you guys finally loved that I showed you guys my makeup, and give this video a big thumbs up. Keep you guys posted with my table, because I did order two new bases, and I actually ordered waist bins as the bases. If you guys are not subscribed, make sure you guys do click the bell so you guys get notified for all of my brand new videos. I love you guys so much. I will be back with more videos. Let me know what you guys want to see on the channel down below in the comments. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see all of my beautiful babes in my next video.